Hi, this is Android TV Boxes. I'm the Bear, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up iStream on your XBMC. Uh, now, I'm going to assume that you've already got uh, iStream installed. If you don't know how to install iStream, uh, I will uh, set up another video for you. Um, all I've actually got installed here on this device um, is literally the iStream component itself um, and the repository. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that up for you. Now, I'm not using an iStream enabled skin. I'm literally using the stock skin um, because Gotham has some, uh, you know, some issues here and there. So, uh, without further ado, we'll get started. Um, what we're going to do is, first of all, is we're just going to double check the add-ons that we've got enabled. Um, as you see, I've been looking for a few things. Uh, we're going to go to Get Add-ons, Unity Talk. Just going to make sure that the extensions are installed, which they are, which is good. Okay, and just make sure... Oh, one of the other extensions is done. Right, excellent. Okay, so I, I'm ready to go. So basically, this box has been configured to uh, to work straight out of the box. Um, I've installed iStream, uh, and that's it. I've not done any other settings uh, apart from uh, in an earlier video I set up um, the community playlists. So what we're going to do is we're going to start iStream up, and we're going to want to configure iStream. So we're going to go to Tools. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to clear um, all my bookmarks, all my internet cache, all my search history. So my box is now iStream sort of is clean as it were. So uh, we're going to go settings, movies, general. Okay, and we're going to set up some indexes and we're going to set up sources. So indexes are basically where it gets the film data from. So uh, when you go onto iStream um, and you want to watch a film, it looks for a series of films that are available. Now I use the IMDB uh, reference because IMDB is constantly updated with films. You're going to get all the information about the films out there, but you can obviously use any of the other uh, indexes that are available. Sources are where the films actually come from. So, uh, which content am I actually going to use to watch the film? So, uh, the ones that I'm going to use for here, and bear in mind this is movies, I'm going to use Yiffy TV. Um, and we're also going to scroll down and just select a couple of the other ones that I know are pretty decent. Uh, AFDAH is pretty good. Um, I think that's actually it, really. In fact, to be fair, you could have actually just used the stock ones. Uh, there's no real difference. Um, what I would do is, under General, um, I'd also tick Autoplay. I'd lower the setting down to two seconds. Now, what this does is, if there is a, uh, a film that you're particularly looking for, and you press Play, what will happen is it will go and get that content for you. And if it fails... After two seconds, it will move on to the next one. Without autoplay, it doesn't do that. So uh, that's that done. And we're going to do the same for TV shows. And we'll go to general again. Again, autoplay, two seconds. Indexes, IMDb again. And for TV shows, just want to make sure that they're all set as they should be. They are. Good. Okay. So really, I haven't changed much. This is actually a real, a still, still a really stock install of uh, of iStream. So I'm going to search for a movie. So if I go movies, uh, most popular. This is going to show me sort of the most popular films per my index. So this is IMDb. This isn't necessarily ones that are popular in iStream. These are just popular films that have been watched or referenced in IMDb. Um, so this is just coming up now. I'm just waiting for it. Takes a few seconds. Uh, so th these are all new films. So the chances are that these are going to be camera copies. Um, now I know that Lego Movie isn't a camera copy because I love that film and I watch it quite a few times. So I'm just going to click on Lego Movie 
Um, what I'm going to do is wait. Now, this will go and get the content information um, from the sources that are available. Now, bearing in mind, in that source list, you saw I had quite a few. If I didn't have the autoplay function, what will happen is it will just fail if it can't grab the stream the first time round and make me um, choose another one. But in a system that doesn't allow me to choose, it will just keep failing. So, uh, you know, I always set autoplay on. It just basically means that if, if it can't find a film, it will get it from the next one. Uh, so, as you can see here, I mean, this has actually now just delivered the content. Um, the film is playing, and it's there, ready. <laughs> no problem. Let's just check TV shows now, right? Because I know some people want to watch TV shows, they love their TV shows, and they're getting annoyed with uh, having to have a VPN in place for one channel, that sort of stuff. Again, most popular references IMDB gets the information together. So uh, just waiting for that to work. As you can see in bottom right corner, it's working away. Um, and this will compile a list. Um, of all the popular TV shows that are out there. Things like Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, uh, Falling Skies, Orange is the New Black. I mean, Orange is the New Black is amazing. I don't know if you've ever seen it. My God, it's a fantastic piece of uh, piece of drama. It's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm allowed to watch it, which is always good, because uh, things like Game of Thrones, the wife doesn't necessarily like me watching, you know, Swords and porn and shit. Yeah, just didn't really like it. Uh, so I'm just going to play the first one for a second, just to show you it working. I'm hopefully it's going to have a failure, um, in which I can show you how it works. So what happens is it goes to get the stream again, as as per the movies. Um, <clears throat> it will either find it and play or fail. Present an error message, and I'm hoping it does give me an error message because I really want to show you this. Um, it will show you an error message that says, please refer to log file. You don't need to do anything. Uh, that's plain. Okay, well, yeah, okay. I'm not quite sure then what's uh, what people are, are, are worried about. I know that if you don't set auto pay, play and you do want to watch something, it does just return an error message. It's not always a good thing. Um, so, uh, that's iStream. That's how you set it up. It really is quite simple. Once you've installed the iStream component and the repository, um, you can follow one of my other videos, which is uh, adding the extreme, the iStream Zunity playlist, including Kizzers, uh, 3 to 1. You can watch that. That will actually show you how to set up um, iStream, but I will do a video that shows you just installing it anyway. That's it. It's quite simple. Move on to a couple of other videos shortly, um, identifying how to add content from iStream into your library and doing various different things. It's Android TV Boxes. You can find us on Facebook at slash Android TV Boxes, B-O-X-E-S. Come and say hello to us on the Facebook group, XBMC Users. That's xbmc.users. And uh, come say hi to us on Twitter. Any problems, leave your comments below and we'll sort you out as soon as we can. All the best.